everybody, my name is Arctic Dropshot, and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on how to make HD gameplays um, and video commentaries and stuff like that. So first, let's start off with Fraps. While we do that, I'll open Sony Vegas because that's what you need. You need a video editing program. Let's start out with Fraps. I will show you my FRAP settings, okay? So I have monitoring Aero Desktop on just for recording this, but if you're not recording your desktop, you're going to want to turn that off. And FRAPS Windows always on top. You want that. Next, uh, this doesn't matter, or this will show you where your overlay will be. Mine is in the upper right corner. This will show you exactly what, um, where your frame rates will be, okay? Um, the rest of the stuff, it doesn't matter. But yeah, this will show you where your frame rates are. Here is the important stuff, all right? You're going to want to, for me, I record in half size. But if you have a really good computer, you record in full size. Usually I record in half size, but sometimes in full size, it really just depends on the day. But half size is for the majority of people, you're gonna wanna do half size. Um, if you have a, you know, not awesome computer. Now, the reason this is at 100 FPS is not because it will slow down your computer. Uh, this won't slow down your computer. This is how much Fraps strives to capture at. So, if you record at 60 FPS, but your game can run at 80 FPS while recording Fraps, you want this as 80 FPS. A lot of people have this as 29.97. That's the standard. So, you can either have this at 29.97, or if you have a good computer, you can run at 100 or whatever you want. Okay. Over here, this records in game sound. You can't control how loud it will be. You'll have to control that from the game sound or from the video you've used. Depends on what your clip is from. Maybe like a, if you're on console, you want to turn down your sound, stuff like that. So, it really depends on what you're on. Okay, so over here, we got your mic settings. So this is if you want to record your mic while you do your commentary. Either it's a live com or you just like commentating while you play right here. That's what you want to do. You want to click this and your default mic, which is going to be found in device. You're going to right click recording devices and set your default mic, whatever it is. You're going to click it and click set default. Okay, once you do that, that will um, make when you open fraps next time, like you can't have it. Well, you open fraps, you have to close fraps, open it back up and it'll show that mic that you chose as default right here so you click this to record the mic while you do these things and that is for screenshots and make make sure you have a hotkey that you barely press okay you want something that you barely press so that's moving on so once you have your con that's for fraps um for pc gamers but if you use a hot pog HTTP VR or something like that to record your gameplay you'll already have your gameplay and that's where it comes to you so you might have just skipped to this part. I don't know if I'll do that. So what you need first is your gameplay. So pull your gameplay for from wherever you got it. Um, let me find some gameplay real quick. It doesn't really matter here. Let's open some of this. Okay, so we're just going to be using this clip. So the zoom in, you scroll in, scroll out, scroll in. This is going to be pretty simple stuff. But I wanted to teach you guys how I get my quality and stuff like that. So let's start off at the very beginning. For a regular gameplay commentary, you're going to want to right-click properties and disable resample, okay? You want to do that. It'll make it a lot more smoother. But if you're doing maybe a edit or something like that, you might want smart resample on. It'll give it somewhat of a... Um, a little blur you know that's kind of what it does it blurs it so but if for, for regular just set that stuff on disable resample okay also what you want to do is make uh, well actually I don't do it here this is the reason why what you want to do is click this up here this event pan crop it's in the corner click that it'll open this up you can make it bigger by dragging the window or whatever and you can zoom in and what this is this is how you get the black bars on the top and bottom but you want to turn this off and you can get black bars on the top and bottom like I do on some of my gameplay. So this does not, rel this is not relative to my F to my um, rev resolution. This is if you want the black bars for cinematic effect. I feel like it makes it look better. But this also fixes fixes the sidebar problem that a lot of people have. You see gameplays like this. Yeah, you don't want that. Sometimes because of the resolution you record in, it will give you this. So you want to go into the event pan crop like I showed you. Go go here, event pan crop, and this might be closed. This might stuff might be closed. You go to source, maintain aspect ratio. You're gonna click no, okay. And when you do that, it should automatically put it around somewhere like this. Um, move this for the side. So if it still is not there, you can drag these in. And if you want to do uh, black bars on top and bottom, you can pull this up and down. So that, that's kind of like the simple stuff right there. So some of you guys are wondering, oh, this, all right, let me show you guys this. If you want to add effects into your video, here is a quick tip. You get 
um, you probably gonna want to build up your pictures library, build up um, something like that. Let me find a a quick one. Overlay. So say you want you know something like that, some sort of overlay. You know, it starts out like this. So you don't want that. So you're gonna drag it down to whatever size you want like that by just clicking and dragging the end. You're gonna go in here and like I said, this is the same with being black bars. Maintain aspect ratio off. You say, oh, this is bad. So if it's an overlay, you're gonna click this square right here. Comp compositing mode click that and click add okay so that's you know you can see that's a little better and then you can do this to drag down the brightness of whatever you're using you know so say you're say you're doing that you know you'll have that kind of stars if you want them to move this is a this is something not a lot of people do do you want them to move you're going to use your keyframes in the event pan crop again this is how you're going to do it you're going to first one you're going to have it like that go to the very end click click up here and zoom in about this far and they will save it automatically. So look at the gameplay now. What happens when you when you can't? It's a short clip, but notice. Uh, let me actually. Okay, to lengthen the clip slow mo, you're gonna control click and pull. But if you don't have a uh, really high frame rates, you're not gonna want to do that. But look, as you can see, you see how the stars move inwards. That's just a fast way to do it. But you know that's that's how you make stars move. You're gonna want to do it slowly and with a picture with less stars on. But that's enough of that. Let's move on to, okay, you got the black bars done. So that's how you do black bars. So now some people want to know how I get the color on my video. They're like, oh, Arctic Drop Shot, your color is awesome, man. How do you do that? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Video Effects, Color Corrector, the first one. And I'm not going to share you guys my secret. These are my secret ones. I don't want you guys to know them because, you know, that's what makes me special. But I will show you guys how to make a nice looking color correction. So first what you're going to do is you're going to, Decide what color you're going to use. So you notice how I dropped some red on there. But the red, uh, the original color correction isn't so great. So let me resize this. Sometimes these windows pop up in really funky ways. So you're gonna, you can do either uh, waves or you can do this. I like doing this. Now you're going to want to think about the mood you're trying to give off. You know, what, what, what kind of mood are you giving off? You're giving off a sad mood. That's more blue. Red mood, you're going to be more red. Um, I don't know, funny mood, green, green to light blues. But for... Uh, for me, at least for an average commentary, you're going to want to go yellows, which is a happy mood, which is what you want to be in most commentaries. Okay, so you're going to find that you're going to pretty much play with this until you find something that just makes it look better. Okay, you're literally going to have to sit here with these and just move it around, you know, move it around, add reds, add whatever you want, add blues, you know, whatever you want to do, add them up. And find something that's in a perfect place for you. And you notice on the left side, it's moving around. So let's make something real quick. There you go. And um, you can raise saturation, which like adds a little, adds that juiciness. That's what I've done on mine. Adds a little juiciness, you know. So raise the satur saturation a little. You know, gamma adds color, so you want to add that a little. And that's pretty much. You see that? That's kind of how a lot of my gameplays look. You can see that. So, and gain is uh, more color, so you can add that. And look how bright, see, you just took a dark map and made it a light map. That's how you take dark maps and make them a light map. You, let me uh, find another piece of gameplay to do, because that one's not so great. But, um, like I said, that's how you take a dark map and make it a light map. That's how you make things look good, you know. You have to find innovative ways to change stuff up. So I'm gonna go, just go through these, go through this one more time. Just you can do it really quick once you learn how to do that. Oh, to separate, if you're not using audio, you can click U. You're gonna click the audio, click U on your keyboard, and click Delete. Okay? Then you won't have to use audio. Okay? So we're gonna go through that one more time real quick. No, don't maintain aspect ratio. You know, right there. And then you're gonna go to your. Uh, I'm just gonna use one of my. This one's for more montage kind of stuff, but. Um, put saturation down. But there, yeah. See, so you get that kind of you get a different picture than it really originally was, and you get a different mood based on how you want stuff to look. Okay, so that's kind of like the main the main um, things you do to get some HD, you know, HD quality videos. Uh, I'll go through my render settings now. That is, but that's how you, you know, that's how you set it up. Okay, so you're gonna want your, these are your settings, and I, you can pause the video. I'm gonna have it in 1080p, and I'll have these up, and I'm gonna go through them. This is for 720p. Okay, right here, 720p. If you're doing montages, you're gonna raise this to 60, double. Okay, for your slow motion. 
if you're going to control click you want that on 60 if you're going to do slow motion otherwise you're fine but look at these settings you can pause it full screen 1080p them here's the audio and this is how I use this is what I use these are things I use these are the best settings I found so yeah there you go right here these these are your settings and then I'll show you my render settings that's 720p and to make it uh, 1080p all you have to do is take this number and do 1920 by 1080 and then it'll be 1080p so over here then after you've done all of this, you know, you've set up your gameplay, you know, you're ready to ready to upload this gameplay. Say you've got, uh, let me find some real quick. Say you've got some music in there. Um, I don't know. Here. Say you got some music in there. You know, you, you got a nice little clip, nice little whatever. Got some music in there. You're, you're ready to do your thing. Okay. So what you're going to do is file render as. Now I will show you guys, this is taking longer than normal, alright, I will show you guys exactly what I use to render my clips, okay? So you want to go to main concept AVC and go to internet 720p, okay? So you're going to click internet 720p, notice I'm not doing it because I already have one saved. But internet 720p and then click customize template. When you click customize template, you're going to match everything in there to these, okay? So this is your internet 720p, you're going to go through this stuff, you see what I have, um, you're going to go through this stuff, you're going to, you know, make it equal main 29.97 unless you're doing a montage you might want to have double if it's there it doesn't even look like it's there um you know okay so here's and make sure you have this sound too here's a huge problem that people run into all the time they get this error message cre error creating file changes to render using cp only fixed okay that will always fix it so people say put it on auto don't render using cp only most pretty much 99% of the time your CPU is going to be better than graphics card for rendering a video okay if you have a better graphics card than CPU you're, you're doing it wrong but anyway <laughs> CPU only bam right there that error is gone and you should be able to render fine right here see my audio settings and like I said 1080p this and uh, put it full screen and you'll be able to see and you guys see that right there video rendering quality all that stuff and that stuff so you know these are my rendering call if you want 1080p like I said um, oh wait what you want to do after doing all the stuff putting it in you're gonna want to go up here make a YouTube 720p and save it so now every time it will be there for you to click automatically if you're gonna render in 1080p same things pretty much same things you can see and you're gonna change you know you're gonna start with the eight with the YouTube 1080p and it's gonna be 1920 by 1080p right there so you guys can see the um, the difference you know the variable bit rates everything's a little higher on the other one but um that's pretty much it then you click render and your video will render so that's how I make my gameplays my HD gameplays um, color correction I'm not sharing my color correction with you because it is a uh, secret and I don't want to give it away but um yeah simple as that hope you guys like the video if you could you leave a up thumbs up rating if you enjoyed and uh, leave any comments if you have any questions um I have no problem with answering you guys. So thank you for watching. Arctic Drop Shot signing out.